Well, we're following breaking news with the Bank of Canada raising its key interest rate by another half a percentage point. And for the latest on this, uh, we're joined live by BNN Bloomberg's David George Koch. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, we're finding uh, this information on the same day that we're also finding out that GDP was uh, in the first quarter of this year was slower than expected. Curious, how are the markets responding to uh, today's news? Uh, well, Jamie, right now the market's, uh, as expected, the Bank of Canada raising its interest rate by that half percentage point to 1.5%. Markets pretty much already have digested that information, uh, given the fact that it was pretty much well telegraphed. So we saw a little bit of an increase in the Canadian dollar, but that's kind of faded nearly immediately. Um, bonds significantly, and that's um, a big driver of where fixed rate mortgages will be heading towards. They jumped quite significantly by about 6%. But otherwise, uh, on equity markets, we're not necessarily seeing too much of an impact again mm -hmm. this was well telegraphed well in advance so investors had plenty of time to really place their bets on where to move yeah TSX only down about uh, 20 basis points this morning not too bad uh, but I'm curious you know you touched upon um, you know mortgages and and the bond market which is tied to it and and you know a lot of people are out there let's be honest they are having some buyers remorse especially if you have a variable rate and we know that there is a series of about six of these uh, interest rate hikes uh, you have to assume that there's a, a lot of fear from some of those buyers who might have some remorse and a lot of them are actually trying to get out of these deals. Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously, you know, I think every every person's situation is different. But I cracked the numbers, uh, crunched the numbers rather uh, on on you know, for example, if you have a million dollar home in Toronto with twenty percent down, uh, and assuming that the banks uh, move in lockstep with this rate increase with their prime rate, uh, if you have a variable rate mortgage of roughly about three percent, you're looking at an additional one hundred and ninety two dollars per month in uh, increased uh, mortgage payments that rises to about twenty three hundred dollars over the course of the year that you're now having to pay for your mortgage again if you have a, a, more, a variable same is relatively uh, the same payments are relatively the um, if you if you're mulling a fixed in, a fixed income fixed rate mortgage I apologize uh, at around four percent um, but again it, it, w to your point that economists do expect an, uh, several more rate hikes for the end of the year with the Bank of Canada expected to uh, move rates to 2.75 percent by the end of the year that's another 1.25 percent increase if that happens, then we're going to likely see people with variable rate mortgages under that same scenario now pay an extra $1,120 a month or $13,000 extra a year. So this is big money we're talking yeah. about. And really, essentially, at the end of the game is trying to pare down inflation back to a normal 2 to 3 percent target that the Bank of Canada is looking to get uh, at uh, and essentially get people to be spending less money so they can save uh, to, to bring demand down to essentially get the economy economy back to normal. Yeah, and at the heart of these, you know, interest rate hikes is is calming and, and cooling off this inflation rate, so which is over a 30-year high. Uh, and you, we talked about the fact that it's so at about 6.8% right now, and it generally should be around 2%. And um, with the cost of living, uh, energy prices are skyrocketing. Uh, I'm sure many economists are agreeing now is the right time to try and uh, cool down the markets a bit, uh, cool down uh, inflation. But uh, obviously, this is going to hit some people in the pocketbook. Yeah, certainly. And and when it comes to inflation, that pretty much is the main focus of what the Bank of Canada is looking to do uh, in terms of drilling that inflation rate down uh, from that 6.8 percent. They do expect, in the, and they said in their statement, that in, uh, inflation will likely move even higher in the, in the near term before beginning to ease. So we're likely going to see higher inflation figures over the next several months um, as the economy digests those interest rates from the Bank of Canada. And here's something interesting that we haven't seen before from the Bank of Canada. The risk of elevated inflation becoming entrenched has risen. Those are nine words, Jamie, hmm. that are going to have significant implications going forward on just how exactly the bank is going to be managing uh, the economy and giving a bit of a warning to Canadians that these high inflation figures that we're seeing nowadays may actually be around for quite some time. BNM Bloomberg's David George Kosh, we appreciate the update. Thank you. Thanks, Jamie.